Okay, your following your following bout is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Sitting in the corner to <laughs> my right, weighing one hundred and eighty-five pounds, from Halifax. This is Goth Boy Joe Wade. <laughs> And standing in the corner to my left, representing the Czech Republic, weighing 200 pounds, this is Vusik. Here with action at PPW 16 with our first, I guess, official match of the evening. This is Joe Wade versus Vushik. This is Liam Slater on commentary, joined by Danny O'Doherty. O'Doherty is in town, and what a way to kick off PPW with Orange Shoes, getting the huge win over Nathan Black there. Couldn't believe it. An incredible win, an impromptu match there that uh, got kicked off. Of. But now, the scheduled first, uh, first match of the evening is Joe Wade versus Vushik. This is two of the uh, bright stars of PPG here testing yeah. each other. They asked for this match uh, to see oh, who was able to come out on top. Danny, what are you thinking about this matchup here? Just look at those strikes already. This is hard hitting from the word go. Joe Wade has been making names himself all over the country recently. Proven why he is one of the top stars here at PPW. Yeah, absolutely, I think mean, Joe Wade making a name for himself in places like Rise, where he's had great bouts against Jet Marshall. Uh, Vushik, on the other hand, has uh, grown and developed at the Evo Academy over in Hull. Uh, he's getting out on the Evo shows, the BWR shows. He's appeared on one PW now. Both making their way in different places, but both big physical dudes that are bringing a big physicality to this match. And this is my first time seeing him in action. And look at that, able to take those kicks from Joe Wade without barely flinching. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, I talk about Vucic a hell of a lot. He is one heck of a competitor. He is unbelievably strong, unbelievably quick, and unbelievably smart. Luring Joe Wade in and then taking that neck crank. I think uh, Vucic, almost a, a hybrid style of wrestler. You can see the style that he wrestles is quite technical, but then he is such a big, physical, aggressive dude. Here we go. Switch from the corner. Joe Wade maybe looking to pick up the pace. It's pretty interesting to see how composed he keeps himself while having such aggression as well. That's something unique in itself. And look at that from Joe Wade. Uh, so Vusik is uh, highly, highly trained in karate. Um, it, his composure is like nobody I've ever met before. Whereas Joe Wade is extremely driven by an emotion that's inside of him. Sometimes that gets the better of him, sometimes that works for him. I think when we see the blast of Joe Wade, damn, that were meaty. When we see the blast of Joe Wade and this, you start to see his emotion coming through, that's when we get the best of Joe Wade. Absolutely. Yeah. And we saw that, as you say, at Rise recently, he was in that four-way at the Brunel where it was yourself in that match. Joe Wade, once again, proven that he can hang with the very best. Picked up, picked up the win against me, hit me with an incredible double stomp. Um, they probably felt a bit like those European uppercuts are feeling right now. There, oh, that double stomp. Great physicality that we're seeing here to kick off this PPW show. And again, like I said, these two these two wanted this match. They they trained together. Uh, they've been around each other. They looked at each other, and it's almost like lions lions in a pride that are competing to be the uh, to be the dominant force. I cannot call this one at all. Just from this opening five minutes. No, this has been incredible. Just a, a pace. There's something about being on PPW shows that increases the pace that people are wrestling. And it just yeah. makes you go that little bit harder, that little bit faster. And we are just getting an incredible hard-hitting contest here. And this is what it's all about, as you say, about proving themselves. It's not about the audience, it's not about the big crowds. Today is about proving that they are the best at what they do in that ring between those ropes. Absolutely. We have a ton of people that see stuff. And if someone sees that and wants Vushik on their show, that's exactly what it's going to be about. We're proving yourself not only to the audience, to the wrestlers, 
for the promoters that are out there. We're really trying to set the trend of what British wrestling is. Here comes this big knee combo from Vucic, sends him into the corner. Takes off, he's coming in, big head of steam, but misses, catches his knee in the corner. Cradled. Incredible backbreaker there from Vucic. Keeps hold of him. Up into the air. And just holding him. Joe Wade is not a small lad. He's a big, big dude. Oh. Shoulder breaker there, right to the back. Joe Wade, a very agile wrestler, but the amount of punishment he can take is... Yeah. I've never seen yeah. anything like it, when yeah. he can sustain yeah. moves like that and carry on with those high side moves of his own. Yeah, again, it's, a, it's something that Joe Wade has had to fight through in terms of taking punishment, taking pain. I know that he's broken his back previously from high flying and it's not stopped him. He developed his style recently to, to be more hard hitting, to throw more strikes. Uh, and he's stepping in with someone that probably has the hardest strikes. There's that agility coming into play from Joe Wade. A side step and a big, uh, and a big, a big kick into the corner. Sent back into the corner. Beeled across the ring. And there's that knee into the midsection. Vucic trains four or five hours every day. Scoops him through. Look at Big that, lift. deadlift. Look at the strength from Joe there. Incredible stuff. Huge deadlift. Catches him in the schoolboy. Rolls him all the way through. Big deadlift suplex there. Looking for that cover. Can just barely get it though. You've got to wonder if he got body contact on there. That might have been the finish. And these two have been going at it. Strong for several, several minutes. It has not been a let up in this pace. And now this is where we see Joe Wade coming to his own, going up to the top rope by the looks of it. And this is where Joe really grew when he was the, uh, the underrated youth, remember the name. He was very high flying, he's changed that style now, he looks more comfortable in it. But unfortunately missed it there, there's one arm. You've got to be thinking that Vucic's going for this Japanese strangler when he gets that Japanese strangler hold in. You've got to watch your back because there's a big old knee that's coming for it. Joe Wade though, sees that coming, Quite fights nice. out of it. Switches that hold again. Oh, oh, and that's a straight knee, straight to the chest. Keeps hold of the wrist. Flies in again. This. Look at the contortion. The amount of times he's targeted that chest with those kicks. And let's talk a little bit about why you would target the chest. You want to take the lungs out with the wrestler. You want to make it hard for them to breathe. The less they can breathe, the less gas they've got in the tank, the harder it is for them to kick out of stuff. He's looking for it again. Looking for this knee again. Actually, no, he's looking to wrap him in a Japanese strangle. Maybe this is a Vushik getting a taste of his own medicine here. Vushik loves to employ this knee to the back. But Vushik manages to counter, hooks him in, pulls him through. Bad mistake from Joe. Ahead of him. Absolutely. Trying to play him at his Still own game. Fighting. Into the front. And look at that German. Incredible German suplex. What feels no pain. Half and Incredible. half. On the head of Joe Wade. Oh, oh Jesus. Word. Just, just, just getting two. that shoulder up. I thought that was it. I thought that was you it. You talk about getting the wind knocked out here. Yeah? Absolutely. And I, I've wrestled Vushik and it knocks the wind out of you. You see stars. You've got to wonder now, what is Joe Wade going to do? But, oh, interesting. Vu Joe Wade earlier went for a classic Vushik. Now Vushik going to the top rope. This might be the first time I've ever seen uh, Vushik stand on the top rope. Obviously, incredibly comfortable because of course he is. He comes looking for that double stomp that may have broken the ring, the weight that he came down with. And walking him in. I'm going to say now. Spinning out. Joe Wade manages to do that impact. Flies in with a back kick. Flies in with a forearm. Both men down again. Joe Wade with the cover. Just about. Just the two. Taking each other to the limit, eh? Absolutely. This is a big back and forth. Giving everything. Brain Buster. Buster. Surely that must be it on the cover. Here he is. Better body contact. Oh, just about. Just, just the tour. That is incredible. That last bit of energy left in his body, just getting his foot on the ropes there. The ring smarts there. We talk about ring smarts and ring positioning, but the ring smarts there for Vushik to reach out, to know that his toe was going to touch the rope. Not his foot, not his ankle. His toe and still make it is an incredible awareness in this young man. 
Both of these men, both young, 22, 23 years of age. You have to wonder what he's still got in the tank, and I think we're about to see it. There we go. Finally gets that slam. Hooks him in. I think now, this may be the end. This is what he was going for earlier. And there we go. Word, unbelievable impact there. Turns him over. Here's his choke from Dusik, and that is the end of the match. Unbelievable. An incredible contest there, Danny, you must agree. So impressive from both men.